Probably because of the edge-to-edge -edge LCD screen, Apple didn't include 3D Touch in the new iPhone XR, and we're sorry that it had to go. Every iPhone since the iPhone 6S has measured the deflection of the device's screen for 3D Touch, and that capability is now gone on the iPhone XR, to give us the new rounded edge liquid retina display. Thankfully, Apple has implemented an alternative, haptic touch. Instead of detecting pressure, it simply registers how long you leave your finger on a UI element, similar to how long pressing worked on iPad, except that the iPhone XR will give you haptic feedback, hence the name. When the XR was first released, Haptic Touch was a little annoying to work with since it required you to hold your finger on a UI element for longer than with 3D Touch. Thankfully, iOS 12.1.1 added a new menu in accessibility settings that allows you to shorten the duration of the Haptic Touch gesture, making it a lot quicker to use. While Haptic Touch preserves some of the common 3D Touch actions, there are quite a few actions that are now missing on the iPhone XR. Before we go through all of them, let's take a look at the actions you can actually do with Haptic Touch. First of all, you can use it to turn on the flashlight or open the camera app straight from the lock screen. You can use it to clear all notifications as well by haptic touching the X icon within the notification center. You can now bring up a trackpad while typing text into the keyboard by long pressing the spacebar, allowing you to easily fix any typing mistakes that you've made. One of the actions that was missing when the Tunar released was the ability to haptic touch on notification previews to quickly reply to messages. With iOS 12.1.1, support for that was thankfully added. And finally, even without 3D Touch, you can still view live photos on the iPhone XR by long pressing on them. Now let's move on to what you can't do with haptic touch, that you could do with 3D Touch. One of the biggest things you can't do is quick actions on the home screen, since long pressing on apps is already used for rearranging and deleting apps. With 3D Touch, you have access to some pretty handy quick actions like Send My Location Within Maps, Create New Message Within Mail, Scan QR Code Within Camera, and Start Timer Within Clock. It even works with third-party apps that support it. For example, you can 3D Touch on Slack to snooze messages, continue watching a show on Netflix, or pay a bill in the Bank of America app. 3D Touch also gives you access to quick actions in other menus like Spotlight Search, allowing you to quickly do things like call, message, or pay a contact. Another thing you can't do with haptic touch is peeking and popping. With 3D Touch, you can do things like lightly press on a link or photo in Safari, and a preview of the page will pop up, allowing you to get a sneak peek. If you want to visit the link, simply press down a bit harder or release your finger to go back to the current page. Within peek and pop, you can also perform peek actions. For example, swipe up while peeking a page to have access to some extra actions like open in background and share. Peeking and popping works in other apps like mail and notes. Lastly, you can't use live wallpapers on the iPhone XR like you can on a 3D Touch enabled device. So with all that said, if you love using 3D Touch on your iPhone and you're thinking of upgrading to an iPhone XS or XR, definitely take the limitations of haptic touch into consideration. Apple has promised to extend what haptic touch can do as time goes on, but we're not sure exactly how far it can go or how far Apple will take it. If the loss of 3D Touch is a really big deal for you, it may be a good idea to spend the extra cash on the iPhone XS or XS Max, or on a used iPhone X. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.